Bob Lutz, Paul Solentrop here to wrap up the Shockers 85-71 win over Tennessee State. Another strange slow start for Wichita State, but again, they turn it up in the second half. What's what's these slow starts all about? Well, I think the you know the real danger is you just don't want to do this against a better team. I mean, it's one thing to be down two points at halftime to Tennessee State at home. It's another thing to go on the road and be down 10 or 12 to, to Tulsa. You know, that would kind of be a different thing. So. I don't know that it's a, it's a it's a huge issue, you know, whether you make a big run in the first half or the second half, but it's definitely something worth worth thought, worth considering. A little inside baseball. I came out today with a preconceived column on the guard play, Fred Van Vliet, Ron Baker, uh, thinking, boy, they're going to get it together. They're one of the best guard tandems. They're going to be something else. Four of eighteen today. Well, they are just sophomores. shows what I know. Yeah, they are. They're, they're sophomores, so we probably have to cut them a little bit of. A little bit of slack. Uh, they're going to have some off nights, and you just include Takeo Cotton in there because he really played well. He kind of saved the saved the day in some ways. Yeah, Takeo had uh, not shot it well in the first couple of games here, and today, oh, four for four from the three point line, career high 18 points. You start getting that kind of production from him, and and who knows what this team team can produce offensively. Yeah, definitely it makes them hard to guard. You know, we saw that from him last year. He kind of started really slow and didn't really get going offensively until. Midway through the Valley season, but once he did and into the NCAA tournament, he was a pretty good shooter, and, uh, and I think they, they definitely need that. Now, Paul and I, we both like Nick Wiggins because he treats us as a human being, right, Paul? That's he right. shakes our hands. And they, he doesn't look at us like these journalists that get in the way of his fun life. Uh, big game for him again off the bench. Looks like a guy who's going to get some minutes this season. Yeah, I think he's up to, he played 22 today, which is up over the last game, and I, you know, I think always the story with Nick has been, uh, is he going to play enough defense? Is he going to hustle and rebound and play physical? And apparently he's doing those things, and then that just allows his offensive skills to shine through, and he's a, he's a really good offensive player. Shockers 4-0, a few days off now. Go to Tulsa next Wednesday night, first road test down in T-Town. So we'll talk to you from there.